first alert satellite and radar together. Here's our storm system moving out of Utah. This is going to sink down into New Mexico, setting it up setting up in a pretty good position for us to get a very healthy upslope for the Palmer Divide as well as for uh, the southern foothills, the foothills of Jefferson County, Boulder County. So Highway 285 up to Kenosha Pass and uh, the Peak to Peak Highway. Those areas are going to do extremely well. The ski areas closest to Denver, like Eldora and Echo, will likely get the most snow in Colorado. Here's the first alert future cast. We'll start this at 1 p.m. with the snow that's falling right now, mainly north of Interstate 70 in the mountains. As we go through the afternoon, that snow will spread farther south toward Highway 50 in the high country. Between now and 5 p.m., we don't anticipate much moisture for Denver in the front range, but a few sprinkles or an isolated light rain shower certainly possible. After 5 p.m., the chance for rain goes way up. Many of us will get a good soaking rain at one point this evening. After about 9 p.m., most of us will have snow, but there could still be some areas on the north and northeast sides of town, including around the airport, where it may still be a mix of rain and snow. And then by midnight, it should be all snow for everybody along the urban corridor. By daybreak tomorrow, a lot of the moisture will be on the eastern plains as well as in southern Colorado, but we do anticipate at least a few lingering light snow showers through the day tomorrow. But most of the accumulating snow that we get in Denver will fall tonight, and that means a slick and slow morning commute. Winter storm warning. From 6 p.m. today until noon tomorrow, this includes all the areas shaded in pink. Again, the foothills of Boulder County, but also Boulder itself out to Longmont and then down into Jefferson County and then down along the Palmer Divide in Douglas and Albert counties. Most of these areas will get five to 10 inches of snow, including Castle Rock, Franktown, Elizabeth and over toward Golden. But you get above about 7,500 feet on Highway 285, so Conifer up to Kenosha Pass. That's where we expect higher amounts. Some locations over there will get more than a foot, and that's going to be the likely bullseye. Uh, with this storm with the highest snow amounts elsewhere. Most of us in Denver looking at two to eight inches. That's a big wide range. The eight inch amounts will be Arapahoe County and then on the west side of Denver and down into southwest Denver. And then as you get closer to the airport on the northeast side of town, amounts will be lower for our friends up north. Fort Collins, Loveland, uh, Greeley, Timnath. We're talking much less one to four inches. Mountains of Summit County looking at four to ten inches and advisory down into the sand grays for three to six inches and then Colorado Springs to Lyman looking at two to five inches of snow. Let's talk temperatures real quick today. It's about as warm as it's going to get the way it is outside right now. Tomorrow we drop to just 40 for a high temperature and then tomorrow night as skies clear out, it's going to be a cold one. Single digits in the mountains, 20s in Denver. So not as cold as it was last week, but it'll be chilly on Friday morning. Then sunshine gets us to 50 Friday afternoon, 58 on Saturday, 65 for the first day of spring on Sunday. And then another first alert weather day possible on Monday. Dominic, that looks like more rain than snow right now here in town, but we'll keep an eye on it and, of course, keep you posted. The time of year, we're starting to make the switch from snow to rain. That's right, yeah. or a combination of both. All right, thanks, Ashton.